For this video, we're going to take a look at the interaction between seeders and tramlines. We'll start by loading the configuration for a 6 meter seeder. In this video, we'll make life difficult with an oddly sized headland. We can see we've picked 12 sections at 50 centimeters each. And we've set the tramline width to 24 meters. We'll open the field we used for the field operations video. We've removed all our existing tracks and headlands from the previous video. The first thing we can see is that we need to have a track to take a tramline off of. If you try to select them without, you'll get this error. So we'll create a new track and take a curve from the right hand edge. There are different modes to draw the tramlines and we'll go through these through the video. We'll manually select the number of tramlines to put in and press the AB button to generate. You can see we've changed the mode to also draw a tramline around the boundary. Notice the summary for the seeder, the sprayer, and the track width. The first thing to know is that tramlines are not guidance lines. You can't drive them. You still need a track and because we created an AB curve to mark the tramlines, we can start our work. Remember, we are working at 6 meters, but the tramlines are at 24 meters. Here. We'll paint some sections so we can see how things relate. The black dots on the cedar turn green, as does the lights at the top of the screen, when they're over a tramline, and if you've set your cedar correctly, it should be doing its tramline thing on this pass. Every cedar is different of course in terms of how they operate, so you'll need to know how your tool works. The black dots relate to the pass to pass width of the track, so the right black box in one direction is 1.9 meters from the left black box in the other direction. With a 6 meter seeder and 24 meter sprayer, the tram lines are between passes 2 and 3, as you would expect. If we skip over to the next tram line, same thing of course. Suppose, however, you wish to use controlled traffic to minimize compaction by having the sprayer run the same track as the seeder. We can do this by bringing up our nudge dialog. See the field operations video for more on this and moving over a half width. As you can see, the sprayer will now follow the tractor's path. But there's a problem. The seeder is still expecting the track width to be between passes. And now it's in the middle of a single pass, so there's no signal or indication we're following the tram line. No problem. We can return to the tram line dialog and select the location override button. Immediately, the lights are green as it's recognized that we're working the tram line. And the same if we skip over to the next one. If we've worked that way, it means we have a half width to fill in at the field edge. Of course, we could just nudge that half width back over. We could also have started working in this manner, with some sections shut off. When we engage auto sections, we can see the cedar shuts off as we cross the completed work. So now we know the interaction between tracks and tram lines. Let's go a step further and look at headlands too. Here, we'll take a simple three passes for the cedar on the headland. And of course this is only 18 meters, not 24 meters. Again, we're doing this so you can learn how to handle such an irregular situation. If we start working the field, we can use auto turn and auto section. See how because we didn't nudge the half width, the tramline indicators no longer illuminate, so we have to clear the override setting. If we wanted to return to controlled traffic, we could either nudge a half width, or perhaps even take a four pass headland instead. Something to take note of, we have currently got a 6 meter offset. 
Bear that in mind. Now, let's change to the sprayer and see what happens. We need to close the field first. So we do that, change to the sprayer, then resume. Notice, our 6 meter offset is still in effect. We'll generate a boundary curve and as expected, the sprayer is running right along the tram lines we had previously defined. For demonstration purposes, we didn't seed the whole field, but let's remove the worked area and act like we had. Of course, the lights aren't needed at this point, and the black squares are in the wrong place. But if the sprayer had fine enough section control, we could hit the override to place the squares over the tram lines and turn those sections off. Here, we are using manual sections to ensure correct coverage. If we engage this button, we could use automatic. Now, we'll switch tracks again and start our up and down work. Because we do have that headland, we can engage auto section control. But look what happened here. The track is in the wrong place. Recall how we had the 6 meter offset carried over from the cedar and we can see that showing minus 600 meters. So we are 6 meters too far over. We need to remove that 6 meters and we are good to go. Suppose however we had put a 4 pass headland in with our cedar. It would be the same as a 1 pass headland with the sprayer. If we did this, we would not need to nudge at all. Again, because we didn't select that override here, the squares are staying black and the lights don't illuminate. Here, we'll tweak our U-turns a little so we get closer to the boundary, giving us more room to turn. Notice the U-turn on the boundary and how it returns you to the work along the tramline automatically. Pretty cool, huh? Lastly, we'll let the auto sections fill in some of those gaps between our 3 and 4 pass examples. Here we're removing the headland, although, a better option than removing the headland is to press that coverage button you saw earlier. It's a simple toggle that allows you to use automatic on the headland, or not. As you'll know, Everyone has different widths, cedars, and sprayers, and different ways of working. Hopefully you can see the flexibility AOG offers to cater for most situations. And that's the end of this video. Now you know all there is to know about tram lines, and how to use them in simple and complex configurations. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more AOG videos. And please let us know in the comments if we missed anything. Till next time.